Okay, before I move on, I want to show you that I actually went back and adjusted this photo filter to be 100% density and this color here, which is less saturated and darker. And I'm not sure I actually need the exposure channel at all. We'll see as we go along. Maybe I'll leave it right about there. Okay, now the biggest one is going to be the V-Ray lighting layer. You can see that it looks like this. And that's just the direct light coming into my scene. Which for the day shot I liked, not so much for the night shot. So this one we'll have to adjust heavily. Let's go to photo filter again and put kind of a dusk color on that. Make sure we're adjusting only the lighting layer. We gotta find that right color to, it's essentially kind of overlaying it over the top of it. And let's adjust the exposure of the lighting layer too. It's obviously too bright right now. It's gonna be okay to have a little bit of light coming from like uh, maybe the moon or something or just the sky. But we don't want that harsh direct light coming like as if it's from the sun. And that photo filter's not doing much yet. Let me see what's going on. Okay, this is what I came to with the photo filter. I turned off preserve luminosity. I put this kind of deep purpley color on there. I turned off the exposure because you don't actually need both. With this photo filter being so dark, it's turning down that exposure quite a bit. So you can see the difference there. Coloring it slightly, turning it way down. Now, one thing to keep in mind is we actually want we actually want direct light coming from like these little can lights up here. So what we can do is go back and paint that in. The nice soft brush. Let's make sure our brush is right up here. Hardness is zero. Let's put the opacity somewhere around there. So I don't want it to look like that, but maybe like that. On these spots here. Bring that lighting back a little bit. Only in specific areas. I don't want it down here because that looks like sunlight. I do maybe want it a little tiny bit. No. But I do want to bring it back right here a little bit like that. You can see how cool that is. Just basically painting in light wherever you want it and painting it out wherever you don't want it. So I think that's good for now. Let's move on to the specular. That just needs to be turned down overall. Maybe like that. All right, I've gone into the V-Ray refraction layer here and I've started making some adjustments. So first I put an exposure on, which looks like this. I just turned it up to make those windows really kind of glow. Maybe you could even go to like there. Don't go too much because then we're blowing out some things there. And I turned off some of the refraction that I didn't want to see on these glass areas. I had a photo filter on there, but I didn't like it. It's kind of this greeny yellow, but you could course toy with that too. See that's all right right there. Make that kind of a really warm color to contrast with the uh, deep blues that we're going to have outside. Oh, the reflection layer was turned on. Uh, let's get to the reflection layer here. Reflection. That's what it looks like just raw out of the rendering. I like what that's doing. But I did put a photo photo filter on it to make it more blue because it would be reflecting a, a, a kind of a night sky instead of a day sky. 
So for that, I just put again density to 100 colors like that, and observed luminosity was kept on. So now we're looking kind of like a night scene. The only thing I don't like is, well, let's turn on our self illumination here. That's the final layer. The only thing I don't like is how bright the trees are still. So in the next video, I'll start adjusting that.